In this video, I'm going to show you how to add punching transient bits to your sub bases. I'm going to show you two different methods and even that you can combine these two different methods to make a more richer transient hit for your sub base. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do on this wavetable is turn it to sine wave. Go ahead and solo the MIDI. That's where we are. So obviously you drop it down an octave or 12 semitones. And it's pretty low. And that's because I've got it at negative 21 dB in my project. So instead of remixing my project, what I'm going to do is come in here and just throw the compressor I had on there to begin with. And if I come in here, a sub bass hits. And we're already much louder. The next thing to do is to go ahead and shape the final sound. So I'm going to do that with envelope two and come down in here. And you can either grab these points and move them around inside of the graph, or you can do it manually using the dials over here. So what I'm going to do is instead of adjusting the level to that, I'm going to turn on the filter and use that filter to do it. But instead of the LP12, I'm going to come all the way down to the bottom and use the wave folder. But what we want to do is have that react to envelope two. Let's leave it at 100 and just see what it does. This is way too much, but you can kind of hear when it starts to get juicy. So what I'm going to do is just pull that down to about here. And it's just a way to get kind of a distorted sound to it, right? And we're well on our way to success here. The next thing I want to do is come over here and I'm going to select the noise engine. All right, that's what the pink noise sounds like. And I'm going to take the level and bring it all the way down. And I'm going to have this react to envelope two as well. And on this one, we're also going to use that built-in filter system. We're going to leave it on LP2. And what we're going to do is use a different envelope here and make it super short, like really short. And then we're going to adjust the cutoff for that. So I'm going to pull it all the way down and I'm using envelope five down there. So boom. And hundred percent is too much again, but let's just hear what it does. And as I pull it down, it's changing the timbre. All right. So you can hear what it's doing there. It's actually quite cool. Isn't that neat? So the other thing we can do is pull down the width because we want it to be centered as again, this is just the attack transient for the bass and the density control will really change up the overall characteristics of the sound as well. And actually remove that release time. Okay, and let's come back in here and Let's see what they sound like together now. So that's with it, without it, with it, without it. So it's adding some, and if we want to add more, we can come in and we can adjust the density and the uh, cutoff envelope amount. So it depends on how apparent in the mix you want it to be, but that's one way of adding attack transient. Another great way to do it is if you come in here to the sampler and type in bounce bass and then pull that down 12 semitones. That's got a really nice characteristic to it right out of the gate. And it already has a nice attack transient as well. And on this one, again, we're going to activate the built-in filter. And instead of LP12, we're going to go to SVLP24. And again, we're going to send the cutoff to envelope 2. So that's what it sounds like soloed. Again, here we're just adding some upper frequency content using some clever methods other than saturation and distortion in the effects panel. But 
But now this is a little bit too much for me. So I'm gonna come in and reduce that. And we've got a really, really great sounding rich bass right there. Again, and we haven't even jumped into the effects where we can add things like distortion and saturation. In fact, let's try that out. I'm gonna go ahead and select the envelope so I'm not adding any automation with it. So there we go, let's listen to it in the context of the track and see if it sounds as rich as it did before.